Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the channel. Thought we would take a look at the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer again, but not really the whole trailer. I've already done my reaction, breakdown, frame by frame review of it. I did it first thing this morning, I was very tired, you all saw, alright, I was in my gym kit, I was I was having a coffee, I was wiped, alright. Uh, it released at like half one in the morning in the UK, I wasn't going to stay awake, I was pretty tired, but if you want to check it out, it's linked above. Please do take a look. Now, uh, there's a, there's a few things. Obviously, a lot of people were speculating where um, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire is, but there does seem to be some reveals in the Brazilian trailer which indicate that actually they they will turn up. Um, pretty much what I said in the breakdown, anyway. Uh, and I, I want to go over that again. I want to sort of explore that. Also, we've got a cameo from Lord Jasper here. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at. First things first, of course, ladies and gents, it is Christmas. And so I am selling my limited edition Christmas merch. Now this is a Xenomorph-inspired ugly sweater. You can see the back here. <clears throat> the front is exactly the same. Uh, it is an all-over sweater, premium uh, pullover sweater from... Well, it was basically it's via my Teespring. Uh, this is the last year I'm going to run this design. And this is the best iteration of it. Uh, as it will be no more, this is a fully limited edition, so please do grab it whilst you can. Uh, yes, it's £35. Yes, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but this is the best uh, product that Teespring actually has on their website, hence the price. So if you want to grab this, uh, grab a limited edition design that will never be available again because this was made for me uh, by my graphic designer, then you can check out the link down below in the description box. And yeah, support me, support what I do, and rock an awesome design that you're basically guaranteed no one else uh, will have. So there you go. Now, uh, ladies and gents, let's take a look at, of course, uh, some of the stills. Now, I, I just to sort of break down my thoughts and feelings on the trailer. I really like this trailer. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, they didn't think the humour landed, which is interesting because normally, nine times out of ten, I actually, you know, I, I would agree with them because I'd say, woof, this is, you know, very Americanized humour. I don't like it. Uh, but I thought the humour, I just thought it worked. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because it's kind of what I was expecting. So let's take a look at some of these uh, stills that were dropped. Now, there, there's some interesting bits and pieces going on here. And I want to kind of give my thoughts on the timeline of the movie. So we can see here a, a very different suit, right? It's like a black and gold suit. But it actually has a whole lot of magical runes uh, over it. And I think what this indicates to me, at the very least anyway, is that later, or, or earlier in the trailer, here, when you see the Iron Spider, this is the nanotech suit from Iron Man, the gift from Iron Man, we can actually see that in the trailer dissolving away onto Dr. Octo, or Dr. Otto Octavius's, Dr. Octopus, uh, his arms, so his mechanical-based arms, actually absorb the nanotechnology. You can see it. It's in the trailer. You know, there are some frames... Um, which have normal arms for octopus, and then the next, and, and again in the fra in, in in the trailer, you see it uh, sort of moulding on the uh, red and gold plating coming over, um, which is good in some sense. I say it's good because it's actually a really great way in universe in canon for Doctor Octopus to change his design. Now we know that there's going to be. Uh, two versions of the Green Goblin, whether it's going to be the Green Goblin Willem Dafoe's, which we, I mean, we can see it here, uh, but there is another version, which is all tattered, battle damaged and things like this, almost a bit motorcyclish, you know, like there's sort of armour on here and things like that, and it's all tattered away, and some people are speculating that that would actually be from the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, his version of the Green Goblin. Whichever it is, it just indicates Sony's sort of dedication to giving us a few different designs. Um, that's one where they have already already confirmed we're getting two different designs for Green Goblin. Uh, Doctor Octopus, I don't think it was confirmed that we'd be getting two different designs there. Um, now, because of the nanotechnology being absorbed by Doctor Octopus, I think this is a suit which seemingly is conjured up by... Doctor Strange somehow because if you look on the suit itself there are runes there are magical runes all over it it's a black and gold costume 
Um, and I'd initially thought this was a suit which would, in effect, was the suit which he was using to combat Electro. But in this image, very specifically, uh, you can actually see the... I don't think I've even got it. Um, you can actually see the sort of magical runes there. Uh, which to me, here we go. So you can see them on the on the sort of torso element there. I mean, it looks like magical runes to me. I could be wrong and it could just be a way to absorb all of the electricity. I could be wrong. But because he's also got, a, you know, a sort of a wrist gauntlet thing holding some level of, um, you know, magic ability in there. I'm going to lean towards it being, you know, a costume for magic. I could be wrong, but whatever. I just thought I'd break that down. Uh, Electra looks fine. Um, yeah, I mean, he was a shit character in Amazing Spider-Man. I don't really care for him, quite frankly. Uh, he was a shit character in Amazing Spider-Man. Don't really care that he's back. Couldn't really care less. One character I do think is cool to see back again. Uh, Sandman. I doubt we're going to get the same actor playing him from Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Uh, good to see the lizard again. Now, these are two characters, and again, like, you know, this is the Electro's costume here. You can sort of see, oh, they'll change his design up because he'll go full-blown Electro and, wah, you know, uh, all, all of the sort of gold electricity coming off of him. Uh, with Sandman and the lizard, I don't think they're going to change their designs in the film. Um, so there's that, right? Now, one thing we do need to take a note of is, of course, uh, that's this Brazilian trailer that I mentioned at the start. And it absolutely confirms that Sony just CGI'd out a whole bunch of... Uh, um, or basically just CGI'd out uh, the other Spider-Men. Because what you can see at the end of this trailer, very clearly, there's this big final fight, um, which we see a part of, but then there are other individuals that turn up. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. I, I, hundred percent, they're going to turn up. I, you know, it's a guess, but of course they're going to turn up. Like you, Sony would be stupid not to have them. Um, and in this trailer, in this part of the trailer, which I'm going to play in a moment, you can. This is a Brazilian trailer. You can see, you can actually see it, where they have CGI'd out. I uh, just removed it because obviously it's an asset. It's a CGI asset anyway. Uh, one of the Spider-Men launching and hitting the lizard mid-flight, and it's, it is absolutely gold. So here we go. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he gets hit. Oh, boom! Like, how brilliant is that? We're going to watch that again. Oh, uh, boom! Boom! Love it. So as you can see there, they've absolutely seen... And, and that's that big final fight where they're launching across mid-air... Uh, and that will 100% be, um, you know, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and things like that. Now, I think it looks good. I'm excited for this, but I quite like the Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I got, I got no hatred for Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I think he's fine. I think he does a, a, a pretty stand-up job. Um, and I'm just looking forward to it. I think it's harmless, dumb fun at the end of the day. <sighs> there you go. Just sort of break it down. Just go into it a little bit more. So, yeah, so I think um, Doctor Strange, when he says, oh, they're all coming through, I think is the other Spider-Men. And I think it will be those Spider-Men that kill their versions of the villains again. So, ergo, Tom Holland doesn't have to kill anyone, because obviously that's a, a pretty big thing for Tom Holland. Uh, in this film, you can see that he's dealing with a uh, struggle there, whether he wants to obviously do this or not. He knows he has to, but he doesn't want to. And I think this gives a real challenge for the character. Um, one... You know, a challenge which he has never had before, quite frankly. Um, because it is a challenge he's never had before. He's never had to undergo any of this stuff. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Please do let me know your thoughts on all of this down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe uh, for return of subscribers and anyone that fancies it. Like I said, uh, grab this limited edition ugly sweater alien version xenomorph thing. Uh, I love it. I think this design's epic. We're waiting to shiny logo. We've got uh, Xenomorph, Heads, Ripley, the Space Jockey, Aliens. Uh, we've got Face Huggers, Chest Bursters, Eggs, uh, the Juggernaut. It's a really cool design, and you can grab that in the link in the description box. Please do support me and just grab an awesome T-shirt. Never run the design again, so it is the last chance to grab it. Uh, and if you get it now, it should arrive. 
for the entirety of December. So you can rock it and everyone will be like, huh, that's really cool. Uh, it's available in black and green and red and green, festive colours. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care.